around 100 and 110. And mind you, this is with monitor turned on. Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobuman. In today's video, I wanted to share what I find to be the truth about power supplies. How much power do you really need? I get this question a lot because I have a lot of hardware upgrade videos. And in this video, I will show you exactly what happens when your computer is under load. And look, please stick around because I'm going to tell you what my opinion is on this without having to throw out numbers about power supplies. How much wattage, how much amperage, how much is the load wattage, this and that. Look, I'm just going to tell you what you need, period, without you having to worry about all these numbers and having all these questions. It's going to be very simple. That being said, guys, please take one second to like this video. I really appreciate it. It really helps me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you. So here it is guys, I really wanted to show you something very interesting. This is my power meter that is plugged into the wall and into it is plugged in a power strip which everything is connected to. For example, my PC, my monitor, and all the audio amplifiers and this and that, everything else, everything is connected to that power strip. The power strip is behind uh, this uh, box here. But you can see the idle is around 100, but I really want to show you real quick. See, this is my custom PC. It's i9, it's overclocked on top of that, and it has an RTX card in it. And the idle is 100, around 100 and 110. And mind you, this is with monitor turned on. And I have a large monitor. Let me zoom out here. I have a large monitor here. This is a 42 inch, I'm sorry, it's a 40 inch a monitor which draws around 50 watts. So if I was to turn it off, the idle would be around 60 watts. So with the monitor turned on and the PC running on idle, this is how much it's consuming just by itself. Now I will show you a stress test. I'm going to run a video game uh, on it or some kind of benchmark to show you and the video editing software to show you what kind of wattage we're working with. Now, let me go ahead and turn off the monitor so that we can see what the idle is, just to show you proof what the idle is without the monitor. Okay, I've turned off the monitor. Let's have a look here. And there it is. It's around the light bulb idle. So that's my PC turned on. You can still see it running. Anyways, Let's get to the stress test and I'll show you how that looks like. All right guys, so here is a game running. This is just Dirt Rally, uh, a replay that I wanted to show you. But it is running the game in real time. I wanted to show you how much power I'm actually using here. And everything is set is ultra on there, by the way. And you can see it's not even using 200 watts, but uh, you know, what I've seen it actually do is around 250 watts, 240 watts, mind you, this is still with monitor, so you have to remove at least 50 watts out of that. And that's the game running. You can see that the game is running here. All right, so let me let me get out of the, the, the replay here. Let me get out of the replay here. I wanted to show you what is doing now. So it's around, should be around 200, 200 watts, minus the monitor itself. So, I mean, depending on the game, but I've seen it go as high as like 250, 260, and sometimes even close to 300 watts. But again, that's with the monitor, so you still have to exclude the monitor wattage, which brings it down to 250 at the worst case scenario on a computer that's overclocked i9. Guys, when you overclock something, you push the wattage a lot more. Plus a video card, that recommends, the manufacturer recommends 300 watt power supply. And yet, I'm not even using anything close to that. So what's the deal? All right guys, so here it is. I'm exporting a video right now in Adobe Premiere. The CPU utilization is 100% at 4.7 gigahertz. So the CPU is working really hard. And let's see how much of a GPU is being used. Just bear with me here. The GPU, is being utilized around 20%. So we got 20% of GPU, and that goes to show that your computer or software in your computer is never going to use 100% of both at any at any moment um, whenever you're running any software, software, whether it's video editing or video games. So it's CPU 100%, 20% at 
and GPU was around 20% of usage. Now let's go over here and see how much power is being used. 290, 280 wattage minus the monitor, which is around 50 watts when I uh, disconnect the monitor. It's going to go around 300 a little bit, 326. Anyways, so it's still way below 300 when it comes to power usage at any moment. And you saw that it, utilization was 100% of the CPU and the GPU was 20%. Again, keep in mind, when you run a video game or video editing, it's not necessarily going to use 100% uh, of any of those. CPU, yes, for video editing. Video game, no. It depends. It's, it's, I mean, it's still going to be situational, but you're not going to be using 100% of GPU and CPU at any moment. Now, there are exceptions to this that might uh, you might come into this situation, and that is if you're, for example, doing uh, streaming, like video game streaming. So the reason for that is because when you're doing streaming, your CPU is utilized a lot more. Otherwise, in, in a video game situation, you won't necessarily be using 100% of your CPU power anyways. So there you have it, guys. Minus the monitor that's connected to it. The, it see, now it's finished, and it, it's going back down to the idle uh, speeds. Minus the uh, monitor that's connected to it, and all the other audio amplifiers connected to it, including my microphones and all that stuff. It's still not even close to what they say that you need. And there you have it guys. Every time you build a custom computer, just make sure you get a good name brand like EVGA here. And in my case, I got 500 watt power, but you can see that I don't even need that much. So if you want to play it safe, I'd say at least 400 watts, but please, please make sure you buy a good brand just because you see a power supply that's 500, 600, 700 or whatever watts and it's very cheap like 30, 40 dollars, there's a reason for that because it's bad quality. Be safe and just get a good brand even if it's only like 400. And that being said, in some cases you don't even need that much as I've shown in the video here beforehand. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. I am really good at answering comments. So if you have anything to ask me, feel free to ask. Or if you just want to say hi, that's fine too. I really like to see those comments. Thank you guys. Please click like and share. And you have a wonderful day, okay? Be safe out there. Bye-bye.